Okay, I'm gonna try and go over this as quickly as I can. I've gone, seen a lot of channels as far as the Radio Master MT-12 talk about dual rate and trims and all kind of stuff using the switches, but nothing using the S1 and the S2, the, the potentiometers. And I have talked to some channels on YouTube that say those cannot be used to change weight and things like that on steering. So, I am just going to go over how I did it. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, watch Joshua Barwell's video where he goes over the upgrading his MT-12 with Pro Features. This is where I got this idea. I just changed some things so I could get these, this and this to, let me help, I'll show you. Channels monitor. So... There's my steering, but up here I can turn my steering down. See my global variable? Now, once it goes away, I can turn it down. I can turn it up halfway. And only get half steering. So, uh, it makes it so you can control the steering. Say you want to give the radio to someone that's not as experienced that you don't want to have full power of, say, an 8S X Max. That's why I did this, so I can turn it down. Same with the steering if you want to do higher speed runs where you don't want the steering to be as twitchy. So, the way we did this is, first, again, watch Joshua Bardwell's video. But the first thing you're going to go to is special features. And you see, you have to do this, adjust G1, adjust G2. It's global variable G1 and global variable G2. And then S1 and S2. This is S1, this is S2. You have to, when you select these, hold down the scroll wheel and select increment and decrement. And then hold it down again and select pots. This will allow you to change the weight. But after you do all this, I'll even go up under so, well, no, everything should be the way it is. Oh. Now I'll go back in. After you get all that done, you have to go in drive modes. This is where you actually set and name the global variables that we just went over. Right here. You see I have steering weight, which is G1. And then, see how it changes? And then I have throttle G2. After all this is done, back out. And now we have to go into input. See where it says weight on steering and uh, throttle? This is what I named it. So now when you go in here, edit, go down to weight. I mean, go down to weight. You're going to hold this down until you get to where you can choose global, vari uh, global, excuse me, global variables, things like that. That's when you can select weight. So this allows me to, as you see, change it in real time instead of having to use the switches which can be a pain if you just want to do it really quick so hope that helps anybody that wants to set up dual rate or steering sensitivity this would be great for speed runs if you want to turn down your steering sensitivity so have fun